What is up guys, it's Peyton here from Level 9 Gaming. We are here with another episode of the Crystal Palace Career Mode. I believe we're up to episode 15 now of the series, so it's doing pretty well. And uh, we are in the Winter Transfer Window, of course. We have a game here in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup against... Uh, it's the first leg of the, of the Carabao Cup against Swansea City. Uh, it'll be the home leg, and we have that game, then we have Burnley in two days, then Portsmouth, then Arsenal, then Swansea. But today we're just going to be doing Swansea and Burnley. Next episode we'll do the replay against Portsmouth and Arsenal. We're going to get killed by Arsenal again, I'm sure. And then we'll have the second leg in Swansea, so pretty well separated, but I can only do two games in an episode right now, especially in the transfer window. That's what I like to do anyway. Hopefully we'll have some transfer negotiations. We need offers for some players, though, to sell before I can buy them or I agree like you guys wanted. But, oh well. Uh, anyway, for now, though, I'm going to jump into the game against Swansea City here to go ahead and get this episode started off real quick. And I'm probably going to play a pretty strong lineup because I really want to win the Carabao Cup because I feel like it's the most realistic possibility of us winning something this season. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so this is the side we're going to use going into this game against Swansea City. A very strong side, as I told you it would be. And uh, this is hopefully going to be enough to get us a win here. And uh, this is the side we're going in with, though. I've got Townsend and Zaha as our outside mids. Venteke up top. Meyer, Riedewald, Milovacevic are our mids. Uh, Ward and Van Anhold are our fullbacks. Sané and Sacco are our centerbacks. And we're staying true to letting Speroni be the goalkeeper. I'm also going to go ahead and make, let him be the captain. Uh, as he has been in, I think, all of the games so far in the Carabao Cup. So we're going to let him go ahead and go through and hopefully hoist that trophy at the end of the tournament. Of course, not as good as Skrupski, but he's actually done a pretty good job. He's had some good saves, uh, as I've left in the highlights in the previous Carabao Cup games. Uh, so hopefully he can do well today, and let's go ahead and jump into this game. So here we are, guys, going into the game here uh, at Selhurst Park against Swansea City. Big game here, as we're going to want to win this in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. Uh, there's our players warming up. There's their players warming up. Wilfred Bonny, of course, very good in FIFA. Uh, scores against me a lot, but I don't think he scored against us last time we played against Swansea. I don't think he scored against me yet in this career mode, uh, which makes me feel kind of better. He was OP last year when he was playing for Stoke, I think, um, but this year he hasn't been as OP. But of course, playing the Welsh side, Swansea City, big game for us, and we're going to go ahead and look at their lineup here and see what they're doing. So they have Plie and Bonnie up top, very good. Sanchez at Cam, also very good. Fulton and Britton as the center mids with Mesa as well at CDM. And then Denisov, Fernandez, Vallejo, and ooh, Vallejo, the Real Madrid youngster. That's a good signing for them. And Mitchell Weiser, another good youngster playing there. And Fabianski in goal this time. I think last time they played their backup goalkeeper, they got Fabianski in this time. Uh, so a good side, strong side. They clearly want to win this just as much as we do, and hopefully we can come out the better team in the end. And we're going to send it up to who Townsend here. He's going to do a ball roll, and he's making the run here and he's actually going to cut back and take the shot here and Fabianski makes a good save there it wasn't a huge chance there I probably should have gone across the far post would have had a better chance of scoring there and he's making a run here and I'm going to send him through Van Anholt I'm going to try to just cross it into Benteke was that a what in the world was that shot that was not a very good shot from Christian Benteke and they get it to Bonnie. Bonnie has a shot but it goes way over the post so that is the end of the first half guys uh not too great on either team's side uh we're just going to continue on in the second half here hopefully Hopefully keep creating chances, get a better chance. You can see here there's hardly been any true like shots and everything, so hopefully it'll get a little bit better in the second half. We've controlled possession. Hopefully we can keep that up. And Ward is going to give it directly to our enemy here uh, with a terrible pass, just completely uncalled for. He was wide open, not being pressured whatsoever, and because of that, Plia is going to get an easy finish. Danny Ward out of nowhere just made a random pass that was off target. I, like, he wasn't under pressure or anything, and Plie gets a free goal because of it, so. And Meyer here has it, and he's going to cut inside, do a ball roll, and win us a penalty! Well done by Meyer. That's great dribbling in the box there. And immediately after that bullcrap goal, well, not bullcrap goal, actually. It was a great finish, but it was all created because of a mistake by our fullback. We have a chance here. So Townsend can take the penalty. I do think he has better, better penalty ratings than Zah, or Benteke. Yes, he does. So we're going to let Townsend take this. I've had a terrible, terrible, terrible record with pens, and yet another one is saved, guys. Penalties in this game are so stupid. The keeper saves them, like, literally, no exaggeration, about 90% of the time. Well, we're going to lose here, guys. They were all over the place. High pressure. Uh, they did a really great job of just taking the ball from me a lot. And another game where I was just dominated by tackles by the enemies. Feels like that's been happening a lot lately. And our team just wasn't good enough. Uh, Ward made that huge mistake with that pass error out of absolutely nowhere, and it got us scored against. So it's 1 0 on away goals. Hopefully, we can come back in the second leg and play better. My hopes aren't very high right now because we are playing absolutely terribly. Um, I, I don't know what to say, guys. Our team's just not performing. We're going to go into a game two days later where our players are going to be tired, and we're going to have to use a very rotated side, which really sucks. Um, 
But yeah, we're going to go ahead and go in. We're in ninth place in the Premier League, as you can see. So we've fallen slightly. Bolivia have just offered management no thanks. Um, yeah, whatever, Nias. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the second game, guys. My hopes are not high. I'm not very happy right now, as you can tell. Um, still no transfer offers either, but we're going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to set up the squad, and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I've set up for the Burnley game. This is the side I'm going in with. Uh, Ings and Zaha are outside midfielders. Williams, MacArthur, Milojevic are in midfield. Benteke up top. Kelly, Tompkins, Moss, and Schlupp at the uh, back. And Scroops can go. Um, sorry, guys, that I'm very unenthusiastic right now. It's just because I can't get this team to play well. I don't know what to do at this point, and... It's just not happening right now, but we were playing so well, and then all of a sudden we just can't do anything. We're getting dominated by everyone, and I just don't know what to do. So we're going to jump into this game and just hope something changes, guys. I uh, I really don't know what to do, but hopefully it'll get better. Uh, we're going to keep trying, of course, and see what happens. Here we are, guys, back at Selhurst Park for a second game in a couple of days here. Um, playing against Burnley in this one, of course, and we're going to go ahead and show you these squads for them. Uh, they're playing in a 4-2-3-1 as well, although I think those are center mids, not CDMs, so more of a 4-5-1, I think. Uh, so, Goodmanson, who destroyed me last time we played them, Vokes, Westwood, Alvarez, Cork, Defoe, Ward, me, Tarkowski, La Lauten, or Lauten, can't, I never know which one, and Tom Heaton, of course, a very good goalkeeper. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and go into this game. Hopefully, we play better. I've not got my hopes up. This is a rotation side, and, uh, yeah, but, I mean, you never know. Maybe they'll surprise. Somebody will step up. Uh, one can only hope. Going to give it to MacArthur again. Williams, Milovacevic, to MacArthur, to Williams, to Milovacevic, to MacArthur, to Williams. He's made a run. And Benteke, bad angle. He wouldn't turn like I wanted him to. And I had to take the shot. The defense is right on top of us. And Tarkovsky's going to have to send that out. Danny Ng sending it in here to James MacArthur. MacArthur, he's going to give it to Luka Milovacevic, who's going to give it over here to Martin Kelly. Kelly's going to send it up to Benteke. Benteke has it, and Benteke has a shot, and he finds that bottom left corner. Finally, guys, what a shot that was by Benteke. I knew as soon as he turned, I was like, come on, let's get a shot off here. And he got it, and it was on target, a very good shot. We're actually going to be able to take the lead against Burnley here. Please let us win a game. What a shot that was, though. It really was perfectly bottom corner across the goal. Uh, I'm sure Tom Heaton could have done better, but maybe he just wasn't ready for that shot to happen. Or it, was, it was a good shot. Back toward Westwood. They are hovering around the box. And what a shot by Vokes. That was terrible. Cool. I'm all for that. They can take shots like that all they want. And MacArthur here, he's going to drop it back to Tompkins, to MacArthur, to Mawson, to Schlupp. And Schlupp's going to chip it over to Ings. Maybe one last attack here, but a good tackle from behind by Sergio Alvarez, I believe. Something like that. Uh, MacArthur to Williams. Milovacevic, and I think I'm just going to rip one with Milovacevic. What a shot! Oh my gosh, what a screamer from Luka Milovacevic. Where has that been all season? And he's going to go hug the fans a little bit, give the people of Selhurst Park a little love as we are possibly going to actually win a game for once, which would be awesome. But Luka Milovacevic was a phenomenal shot right there. Let's just look at that one more time. Williams dropped it back to him. I was like, there's a lot of space here. I'm just going to rip it. And Heaton can't get to that. It's just a beautiful screamer of a shot there. What a look that is, man. Just flies into the far left side of that goal. And that is a great goal from our captain, Luka Milovacevic. And I wish we would have had that in the Swansea game, but we didn't. But oh well. A good run of form here as we enter the, set, or end the first half and enter the second half with a great goal here and a 2-0 lead. So clearly playing significantly better than we did in the last game. Uh, only one shot for Burnley and it was that amazing shot by Vokes, which was so very close to a goal. Um, but we've had two shots on target, two goals, four shots in total. Uh, we're playing a lot better in this game. Obviously our finishing has been so much better and hopefully we can keep that up. Uh, Zaha, I'm going to go ahead and take out, move Ings over to the right, but rest Zaha. I'm not going to take out Benteke quite yet, just on the fact that I want to make sure that we can kind of, you know, hold this lead for now. But we're going to go ahead and put in Kai Kai on the left and uh, continue this game from there. Kai Kai, he's going to cut back, drop it to Schlupp. Schlupp's going to send it across. And, oh my gosh, this is right at Williams. If Tom Heaton would have, wouldn't have jumped on that, that would have been an easy finish. And do I have anybody on the field that's actually good at free kicks right now? Not Benteke, but we have Luka Milovacevic. So we're going to go ahead and try this. He's already got one screen in this game. Why not make it two? And it is just over the corner. Not a bad shot there by Luka Milovacevic. And I just put too much power on it. That kind of sucks. But it was a good attempt. And Williams has it here. Williams does a great little spin and finishes it at bottom right corner. 
We've gone from terrible to domination in this game. Finally an exciting game for you guys. It's been so long since I have had a high scoring game for us. And we get a goal here. And I don't know what that defender was doing. He could have stayed on me. And on his weak foot there, Williams, after the little roulette, finishes it bottom left corner. That was a very tidy finish there on his weak foot especially. And we get a big goal here, 3-0. And we will continue to dominate this game. I'm going to go ahead and do some substitutions real quick. So since we pretty much have this game in the bag, guys, I've brought on Jordan Much for Luka Milovacevic and Ben Brereton for, uh, Ben Brereton, whatever it is, for uh, ben, uh, Christian Bentege and Luka Milovacevic. Our two goal scorers, of course, are two of our goal scorers. And uh, so those two have come off the pitch, and we're going to go ahead and finish up this game with what should definitely be a win. Williams has it here, and he's going to cut it back and finesse one just over the top right corner of that goal. Jonathan Williams almost with his second goal here. And Wood sends it into Westwood. What a shot that was on the volley. I wouldn't have been mad at all if that had gone on. Mostly because we were going to win this game either way. And that was a terrible pass by me. As Fiquette there. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, I hate that name though. Uh, but he has it again here. And they're going to get an easy finish there. Dang, that, that all started with me taking that terrible goal kick. That's my bad. Great. A great little turn there by Ings. Ings just walking past people as well. And he's going to take the shot. And Heaton gets a save there. And Loton clears it before Kai Kai can jump on that one. Westwood being taken off here. A little back and forth between these two. And Schlupp's finally going to send it in. And oh, Ward does a good job getting that clearance there. And cuts it. And Ings gives it to Brereton. Brereton so close. Just over the bar. And give it up here and this time Brereton through that is a terrible shot and Ings is going to chip it back post that's not a good cross and that's going to be the end of the game guys we played well there got a good deserved win for sure could have had more goals could have been like five to zero but I, I gave up a stupid goal but three to one would have preferred the uh, clean sheet three no but three to one I'll take that what a shot that was by Menteke a good little memory to have there uh, yet another big goal from our big striker, and they had three shots, one on target. We dominated that game, guys. Definitely deserved the win, and we're going to end this episode off on a very positive note. Um, it'd be awesome if we could end it up on an even more positive note. Get a transfer offer in the next couple of days for the next game. It would be so nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a transfer offer for a player we're not trying to sell in Patrick Van Enholt. I've really enjoyed him this season, so I'm not going to sell him. I got so excited when it started to stop the simming because I wanted, I was like, yes, yes, this is our chance. Look at all these failed transfer things, man. I wish he would leave. I kind of thought about letting him leave, but we need the backup right back right now. Wish he would leave, and I wish he would leave. I really wish Ladapa would leave already, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to have to reject this guy because I've enjoyed Van Enholt. He's our starting left back, and he's done very well this season, and we need him, so I can't let him go. Well, guys, that was the only transfer offer we got. That sucks. Uh, I was really hoping to get somebody off that was on our transfer list, but oh well, you know, another episode goes by. We still got half of January left before for that to happen, so hopefully that'll happen eventually. Sorry for another short episode here, guys. Uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll have a longer episode, but that's how it is for now. But uh, a sad game and then a very good game from us here today as we played very, very well. I want to go ahead and check on the league status after that game, actually, uh, because I'm very interested to know exactly how it went. So go ahead and load this up. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. Let's see how the other game went, actually, in the uh, first leg. So it's looking like we're going to play Tottenham in that final. Oh, we're, oh man, I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, well, if we make it through. It's not even looking like we're going to make it through at this point. But uh, that's how it is. There's Champions League stats right now. Not too concerned with that. I'll see who won at the end of the year. Man United up at the top of the league. They made a huge comeback right there. Uh, West Ham in second, Chelsea in third, Liverpool in fourth, Arsenal in fifth, and Spurs in sixth. Other than West Ham, that is a very accurate top few and Crystal Palace in seventh I like that I don't know where Man City's at I think Man City and West Ham need to switch spots if you want to be completely accurate and if you want to be completely accurate true life Man City should be top but they're not which I'm fine with um, so we are currently in seventh place so that's great ten wins six draws seven losses which we didn't have seven losses but those ten wins that's very good we hit double digit wins which is pretty huge and we are currently two points under sixth place Spurs and uh, fifth place Arsenal so technically a win and them both losing, well actually Spurs do have a game in hand, but technically a win and them both losing, I mean Spurs would have to lose twice, or get a draw, because we actually have better goal difference than Spurs somehow, so uh, them getting a draw and a loss would technically put us above him, and we could really get into that Europa League spot, I would love to have a Europa League spot, but we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed a very good episode I think, well half good episode, uh, but I enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it as well, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, I'll see you guys later, uh, goodbye.